is it easier to forgive or to forget? Because I think it's different in a relationship than it is like with a friend or somebody that, you know, yeah, that just kind of crossed you. You know what I mean? Yeah, if it's just a friend, that cr- like somebody, an acquaintance, okay, not a friend. Because yeah. if a friend were to do you wrong, it would be as hurtful as if your significant other did it. If it was like a really good friend. So if it's just acquaint- an acquaintance, yeah. Like, yeah. who gives a crap? But if it's a fam, like for me anyways, if it's a family member or someone that you're really close to, I think it's, it's harder... Um, And the reason why I say it's harder to forgive is because there are steps that need to be taken. Okay. Again, you have to have the courage. There's healing. And yep. Healing, like communication. You have to, you, you have to connect to a deeper you because you can be truly pissed off. I've been through this. You could be truly upset and hurt at this person. And the hardest thing, ugh. And especially when you know you're right, you know you're right. Mm-hmm. But okay, I don't. I don't think I want to get into this. Okay, so there was somebody who I had. It was over the phone, and it wasn't that long ago. Maybe a month ago, we. She, she called me upset. There was a situation going on, and I can talk about it maybe later on. <laughs> and tell you who it is, but uh, we were having a conversation and it got heated. And I am not the person, right? Am, yeah. I am not the person to, to be, get pissed off and flip out. Like, yeah, I am just not that person to lose my cool. And th- and it happened, and it happened, and I got off the phone, and at first it felt good because I got her. You know what I'm saying? Like I yeah. got yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. You know. But then I felt like shit. And you're not even aware of this, by the way. You don't know. This has something to do with you. No, I know. I have a good idea. Okay. So I started to feel really bad. Like I heard God telling me, Sonia, that is not you. Like that's not you. That's not your character. You allowed her to take you there. I wasn't able to sleep for a couple of nights. It was really bothering me. Hmm. And I, and God's like, I need you to call her. I need you to call her and I need you to tell her how you feel. And I need you to apologize because that's who you are. Yeah. That's who you are. And I called her and she didn't answer. And I left her a voice message and I got a text back and she also apologized for what she did. I never told you about this. No. And she apologized for what she said. But I was the first to step up. That's good. And I'm telling you, once so, I release that. Yeah, I what did that do for you? That. Oh, my God. I felt great. I was able to sleep. I felt good that I did the right thing. Even knowing that I was in the right and she was in the wrong, I felt Good. And you that's see, all I needed. That's why this is the opposite to track podcast. Because if somebody's got it coming and I'm like, hey, you know what? Why don't you go fuck yourself? And then I walk away. No. And then I'm like, wow, no. I feel great. <laughs> yeah, see, but baby, you're still going through a growth well, whatever. spurt. Like, it, but, but the thing, it doesn't do me, it doesn't spurt. do me anything. Like, whatever. You're you know? going through a growth spurt. It will. You are. But you're no, I, I get I get what you're saying. Yeah. And so for me, the hardest thing for me was like, I'm like talking to God. Like, are you serious, God? You're really wanting me to call her when she is the one that blah, 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 blah. And he's like, Sonia. And I got it. I'm like, okay, okay, I'm doing it. And I did it. And it was the best thing ever. So that's why I said it's harder to forgive because there are steps that you have to take. So, yeah. That's what I mean by that. So I'm thinking there's a combination. It's a combination of both, depending on the situation. So like, let's say first it's with somebody that just kind of crossed you. They said they were going to do something. They didn't do it. They lied to you or whatever. Oh, that's different. Like in that situation, I could forgive, but I'm probably not going to forget. Oh, no. No, no, Because no. next yeah. time that something comes up, I'm going to be like, you know what? I think I'm good. You showed your true colors. Yeah, I no, think I think I'm good, and um, 
you know, you're going to, so I, for, no, I forgive you yes. for what, what yes. happened, yes. but I'm not forgetting. Right. And that is being smart. Like see, uh, t- to me, that's being smart. And then in a relationship, like let's say some, something that has to do with your brother or your sister or yeah. your wife or your husband, Yeah. where it's not like, Hey, I'm, I'm done with you pretty much. Yeah. 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 Like it doesn't work that way. No. So no. it's a combination of both. Yeah. And I think, the forgiving will happen first. The forgetting may never happen. I don't. Okay. So the, ma- you're right the forgetting about that. may never happen, think... but it will fade away. Yes. So eventually you do forget when you, you start forgive, forgetting, you start yes, forgetting and your heart starts to heal. You will forget unless there's a trigger and you have not. Or there's a recurrence. Yes. Um, but if you haven't healed that part of your being, then something can trigger it. That's I think it's deeper. a it, it's a combination of both. Yeah. Of forgiving and forgetting. Because most people like are like, okay, I'll forgive. But they say it like cocky. Okay, I'll forgive. That That doesn't work. Like it has to come from deep within your spirit, your soul, that you are forgiving. Yeah. It's not just, okay, yeah, I forgive you. Yeah, I forgive you. And then every week you're throwing it in their face. Remember when you did this? Yeah. Remember when you did that? That well, is not. It's forg- not. It's not. Yeah. It's not. Well, that that's not forgiving. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, it takes a lot of soul searching when you've been hurt to a point to where you've been broken. But do it, you have to forgive? Man, I you feel have to, to have peace. But in why? order to have peace in your heart and peace with where you are. How? I feel that you need to forgive. Because Everybody? It, and it's not just for the person, baby. It's for you. No, no, no. Like, well, do you have to forgive everybody for everything? I say, I say... I say yes. I say because it's for you. It's not for them. So you can forgive, but it doesn't mean you have to be all buddy-buddy. It doesn't mean that you have to stay with them. It doesn't mean that you have to, have to, have to. It means that you have made peace with the situation and that you have forgiven them. But like you said, you did me dirty. I'll forgive you. But I don't, I can't be with you anymore. I'm going to let you go. Okay. So. Kind of deal. Let me, so I was listening to this podcast uh, a few weeks ago with Jocko and another Navy SEAL. This dude is a Navy SEAL. Mm -hmm. He's a Harvard graduate. He's a doctor Mm -hmm. and he's an astronaut. So as if being a Navy SEAL is not enough. He (laughs) freaking graduated from Harvard Medical School and he's an astronaut. Yeah. Uh, I think his name is Johnny Kim if you guys want to check it out. I mean, his story is insane. And his dad was like super abusive. I mean abusive to the point where i believe the police were called and he was shot in his house wow yeah because his dad was going to kill his brother or his mom yeah, or him or whatever anyway so it was bad but then when they were talking about the situation on the podcast he was saying that he learned a lot about his dad like he he learned where his dad came from and how he grew up and the the abuse that he went there through. He's like, so I forgive my dad. He's like, he was a horrible person, uh, all the things that he did. He's like, but I forgive him for the things that he did because, I mean, what what do we expect him to turn out like? Exactly. From he, all the stuff he that he went through. He knew no better. Through? Now, this is the thing is that that is his father. Right. Which is different. Like if this was somebody that is doing you wrong, Mm -hmm. that is not your family. This is just another person out there. It's like, why do I need to forgive that person? Like, I don't give a shit. I just told you why though. But why? There's healing within that will take place. You may not be aware of it. I don't see how that makes me any difference. Because the thing is that I don't lose sleep. Yeah, you know, because you, know what you I'm don't know about. him, like, but you just have that hardened, like you're like that, like you, not that you have a hardened heart, but you're just very, no, like I, I'm you a, can be cold to a point, I, you can yes. be cold to a point, but you're softening, 
Like you're starting to soften. Yeah, but there's certain things that I feel. I, I'm not saying you know exactly what I'm talking about, and I can't get into it on the podcast. I'm sorry, but there there would have to be astronomical leaps for me to forgive <sighs> this person. Yeah. But the thing is that it doesn't make me angry. It doesn't make me sad. It doesn't really make me feel anything. So when at I all. say the name, yes, it does. When I say the name, how does it make Back you feel? Back in the day, it did. Yeah. Not anymore. Today, if I no. say the name no. or mention something, no, it doesn't bother how does that? How does that it make doesn't you feel? Bo- that's what I'm telling you. I feel nothing. Mm. I feel nothing. I don't know. So I don't feel like I need to forgive. I damn sure I'm not going to forget. Why? Well, because I know the history of what's happened. Yeah, but I think that I just don't feel like the end, there's a need for me I to for, like like if I if I don't forgive, I'm not going to be fulfilled or I'm not going to reach my potential because I didn't forgive. I don't feel like I need that. No, but you're holding on to it. No, I'm not holding anything. Okay, that you're aware of. Mm, that I'm aware of. You know that you're aware of. <laughs>